So I try not to make too many videos where I just show you a bunch of algs, but I feel like that sometimes the ideas behind those algs are important and maybe you could go explore a little bit in order to find your own. But I do trust that if there were algs you wanted to know, you could go find them by yourself. I don't need to show them to you. But anyway, here are some easy OLLCP algs. So normally how you recognize this case, the CP is these two are the same and these two are different. And how you would do it is F double reverse sexy F prime. Here's the diagonal version of that case where just the bar is over here and there's no bar here. So this is also a very nice alg. So normally for this case, you'd recognize the bar here and no bar here, and then you would do this alg. For the diagonal case where you have a bar here and no bar here, what you want to do instead is this back anti soon and then f sexy f prime. Here's the mirror case. There's a bar here and no bar here. Normally you would do this. And for the diagonal case, no bar here and bar here, you wanna do this. So anti soon into f sexy f prime. For this case, you recognize that these two are the same and these two are not. And the normal case for it is like this, soon into f sexy f prime. Now, when you have no bar here, but the bar is down here, you have the diagonal case. And what you want to do is from this angle, double sledgehammer into double sexy move. For this OLL where you have three yellow bars here, here, and here, I recommend learning all of the OLL CPs. There are only four. Usually there are six per OLL, but for the H ones, there's only four. So uh, for this one where you have a bar here and a bar here verticals, then you do this L. And if the two bars are horizontal, then what you do is this. If you get one vertical bar, it could be left or right side. What you want to do is put it on the front and then do this alg. And if you get one horizontal bar, it could be back or front. You want to put it at the front and then do this. So I find that finger trick to be really fast, but obviously you might not like it because it is a little bit weird. So instead you could do something like this and then just do a regrip and the rest of the alloc still flows nicely. Normally for this case, you would recognize that these two are the same and this one is adjacent or you could recognize it as from this angle that these two are the same and these two are not, and you would do sexy sledge. However, if these two are opposite and this one is adjacent, or from this angle, these two are the same, then what you want to do instead is this. It's really similar to the beginning of a Y perm, but only one of the U moves is changed. So generally you should be trying to recognize your CP for every single OLL case, even if you don't necessarily do an OLLCP alg, because in this case, uh, you should be able to tell that once you do your alg, you will get an adjacent, um, an adjacent PLL. So being able to see when you get diagonal, adjacent, or solved uh, uh, corners for your PLL can be really useful for looking ahead from OLL to PLL, and I will talk about that more in another video. But for now, just keep in mind that it's important to look at the CP, and then it will make doing OLLCPs a lot easier. I don't think most of you will be looking this far into the video, but I just want to say one important thing. You're not going to memorize all of these algorithms really quickly. The only way to get the most out of this video is to write them down somewhere so that you don't forget, because these cases do show up rather rarely. Or um, you could just try your best to actually learn them rather than think you're going to learn them and then forget to write them down or anything and then you're just going to forget them and one day it's going to come up again and yeah so either learn it now or decide which ones you want to learn or just don't learn any of them that is how to get the most out of this video so i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments and i will see you next time